Hello, welcome to Benjamin Tree. Today we're going to be looking at using the functions year, month, and day to create a series of days, a series of months, and a series of years. So let's go ahead and start with the series of days. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with today. Okay, the day I'm recording on of this is June 25th. And what we want to do is to add one day to this date and extend it all the way down through this table. So we're going to use a function called date, which we've talked about in the past. So we're going to start off with equals date. And the first thing that we need to input is a year. So we're going to say year, which is a function. And we're going to pick a serial number. And we're going to pick the serial number of 625-2016. Okay, next we want a month. So we're going to use the function month. And we need the serial number, so we're going to use that date again, an A2. And then we need a day, so we use the function day. And we will take the serial number from A2. But this time we're going to add 1 to it, so that way we can increase the date by one day. Okay, so now we get June 26, 2016. So one more time, that's equals date. And we're going to take year. Plus the, uh, and then we need a serial number, so we're going to take the previous serial number. Then we need month, so then we're going to take the previous serial number. And then we have day, take the previous serial number, and add 1. So when we do that, we can copy this formula all the way down. As you can see, our date increases by one day every single time. Let's do that one more time, but we're going to do a different way. Okay, this way is a bit easier. Okay, so we're going to start off with June 25th, 2016. Now we're going to take that date and we're just going to add 1 because that date's really a serial number. And if we add 1 to it, we're just going to the next day. Okay, so one more time, the previous date plus 1 will give us the new date. Now we're going to drag this on down and we get the same results. Also, one thing we do is we change the first date. So let's say we go today plus 2, all the numbers will change. And the same goes for the other simplified version. Okay, we add two days, and everybody adds two days. Now you can be thinking, well, why don't I just do the second type? You can do that for days, just adding one day. But we're going to be looking at how to do series of months and series of years. And we're going to see that just adding X amount of days doesn't work exactly the way that we want to. Okay, let's move on to the series of months. So let's get a starting date, let's say today. Okay, now we want to add one month. So we're going to be using the same kind of logic from the first series of days formula that we made. So we're going to say equals date. We have the year plus the serial number from the previous date. And we have the month of the serial number from the previous date. And we're going to add one, add one month to that date. And then we're going to have day plus the serial number from the previous date. So as you can see here, it goes from June 25th to July 25th. One more time, we're going to have the function date, and we're going to have the year. We're going to take the serial number from the previous date. Then we're going to have the month. We're going to take the serial number from the previous date and add one to it. So we go to the next month. And then we're going to take the day of it and add take the serial number from the previous month, or the previous date. Okay, so here we have August 25th, 2016. So we can drag this all the way down. And as you can see, it goes to the next month, the 25th of each preceding month. Okay, so let's look at this. I crossed this one out because we're going to look at a couple ways that you really shouldn't be doing this because it's not going to have this nice effect. So we're going to start off with today and we're going to go previous month plus 30. Alright, so at first it looks good. We go from June 25th to July 25th, but I think some of you can start realizing what the problem is. We go to seven. We go to July 25th plus 30, we're getting August 24th because July has 31 days into it. Okay, so we could write a big complicated equation say well if this month has 31 days then we should add 31 or if this date has 30 days we should add 30 you could do that 
But again, using the date plus all of the, ser the year, month, and day functions make it a heck of a lot easier. All right, so now we're going to take a look at a different way. So we're going to start off, and we're going to say 625-2016. We're just going to type in the date that we want. And we're going to type in 725-2016, and then we're just going to drag this on down. All right, now you can see that we get got the same result as the previous one, but this also doesn't have the best effect that we want because if I go in here and I change it to the day plus two, all of my dates are changing. But if I come in here and say today plus two, those dates don't change. Okay, so when you are trying to make a series of months, the date with a specific date, you want to use the formula that we talked about using date, year, month, and day functions. Okay, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to change the display to bad, as my friend from North Dakota say, this is the bad zone. Okay, and we're going to strike it through, so that way we can see this is not a good way to do things. This is a reminder in case you download this Excel file and reviewing. All right, so we're going to do a series of years, so I'm pretty sure you guys know what to do by now. We're going to be using the date, year, month, and day functions to make this happen very smoothly. So again, it's date. We're going to take the year. Oops, before we do that, we need to start off with a starting date. So we're going to say date. We're going to take the year, pick our serial number from the previous date. We're going to add one, so we get to 2017. And we take month, and we take the serial number from the previous one. And then we take the day and the serial number from the previous one. Okay, so now you can see that we go from June 25th, 2016 to June 25th, 2017. So one more time, date plus the year, and the serial number before plus one. Then we take the month and the serial number from before. And we take the day plus the serial number from the one before. Okay, so now we get this. All right, so as you can see, we have June 25th for each year preceding year from 2016 to all the way to 2032. And again, if we change the date and add two days, every single date changes. So you can probably think of the downfalls of trying to add 365 because we have leap years and that's not going to work. And then if you try to write the first two and drag the adding function that this has, this Excel has by dragging your cells down, and you can't change everything like we had with a series of months. All right, we're going to look at one more thing before we finish. All right, we're going to have a series of weekdays. Instead of doing every single day, we just want to do the weekdays. So we're going to start off with today plus two, because the day I'm recording this is Saturday, so two days later is Monday. So we're going to make an, an if function. We're going to say if the weekday from before is equal to 6, and that's going to be a Friday, then what do I want to put in here? I want to put A2 plus 3, because if the previous one's Friday, I want to add 3 to get to Monday. So that's the way it skips Saturday, and it skips Sunday. And we're going to go three days forward. If it's not equal to 6, that means this is going to be Monday through Thursday, one of those days. So we're just going to say A2 plus 1. We'll close this out. So June 27th, 2016 is a Monday. June 28th, 2016 is a Tuesday. So one more time, that equation is going to be if the weekday result of the previous one is equal to 6, which is a Friday, then that means we want to take that previous date and jump forward three days to the Monday. If it's not, then we just want to go to the next day. Okay, so when we take this and we drag it on down, as you can see, when we get to July 1st, it skips the Saturday, Sunday, and goes to July 4th, which is a Monday. When we get to July 8th, it skips the Saturday, Sunday, and goes to July 11th. Now keep in mind that this first day 
should be a weekday because if you start on a Saturday and Sunday, you're just going to have a couple extra days added and if you use this type of formula. All right, so for practice, what you're going to do is you have uh, billing dates. Okay, so here's some billing dates for your company. And you need to tell your customers that your billing date is due in the future. Okay, so here in this B column, I want you to make a formula that will take the billing date and create the due date. Now there's two criteria. The due date needs to be three months after the billing date and the due date cannot be on the weekend. So if your due date is a Saturday or Sunday, then you want to push it to the Monday after that. Okay. So of course you could just look at a calendar and go through and type it. But could you imagine if you had 500 of these billing dates? Take that two or three minutes to come up with the correct formula. You got all 500 due dates done in a matter of minutes instead of spending an hour punching in the due dates for all of these. And also if the billing date changes because there's an error, then the due date will automatically change with it. So go ahead and see if you can do that. i uh, warn you that this is going to be a really long formula. So when I did that, when I typed it in this formula, the formula stretched almost the entire bar up here. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. If you get stuck, come take a look at practice answers and see if you can figure it out. And if you have any questions, as always, please leave a comment on the YouTube channel, on our blog, or on our Facebook. Thank you for using Benjamin Tree today. We hope you learned a lot and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.